Hello and welcome to the screencast for the physician schedule. What we'll be doing today will be a graded, um, a graded assignment. In addition to that graded assignment, it will assist you for the final because this will be the second part of your final, the second part of your grade of the final. So it's important that you perform this task or you will not be able to complete the final. So looking at um, the physician schedule, you can see we have the word matrix up here. And matrix, again, if you have already attended my WIMBA session, means another name for schedule. It's a base to design things within. And the, the matrix in this case is we're designing a physician schedule or creating a physician schedule. So just let's go over the parameters of the physician schedule. Um, we have Dr. Vinnie Boom Butts is our doctor. The hours of operation are 8.30 to 5.30. Lunch is 11.30 to 12.30. The doctor will be seeing the pharmaceutical rep. That is the only schedule that that will go on to. <clears throat> the doctor will also be attending a meeting at St. Clair Hospital on Thursday, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Again, that's the only uh, part that will be not go on anyone else's schedule other than the physicians. And we'll talk about allowing 15 on any outside meeting, whether um, for the doctor they will have to be given 15 minutes buffer time we call it prior to the meeting and 15 minutes after the meeting to get uh, to be able to go and then to return from the meeting so you cannot schedule anyone 15 minutes before or 15 minutes after um, when we're scheduling patients, new patients will be in physicals will be 30 minutes and established patients will be 15 minutes. We have two other schedules on, that you'll be creating other than the physician schedule. It's the nurse's schedule. Anyone that has to have sutures will be scheduled on the nurse's schedule and though it only takes 10 minutes to do a suture, but You'll see on the schedule the blocks are 15 minutes. That's fine. We will allocate or give the nurse a 15-minute block, even though the sutures only take about 10 minutes. If anyone needs a blood pressure check, they also would go on to the nurse's schedule, and that's only 15 minutes. And anyone that needs an EKG would go on to the third different schedule, the EKG schedule. So... As you can see, we have patients listed on here. For example, Peter Viola, what a nice name that is for a patient, um, as a new patient, so we're going to schedule him 30 minutes. So in the slot, which I'll show you in a minute, um, we're going to allocate two boxes for him, and we'll write Peter Viola Asthma, in that block. Um, let me just show you. Here's a patient with a suture, Anna Marie Charlton. She would go on to the nurse's schedule. And there's Kathy Seitzinger, blood pressure check. She would go on to the nurse's schedule. And I'm just going to look for an EKG here. And I don't have that many. Uh, Sammy Diamond would go on to the EKG schedule. So we have, again, three different schedule. The physician schedule, the nurse's schedule, and the doctor's, or the EKG schedule. Now, <clears throat> there's some things you need to know before we begin creating the schedule. On the appointment sheet, you're going to have 
we're going to have listed for you. Um, it's going to be only one day, so we you can use um, one sheet per schedule. This would be the doctor's schedule. You're going to write Dr. Vinnie Boom Butts at the top of here, and just write the day that you're doing it. Monday, if it's going to be Monday, December 17th, 2012. We'll need to be on the top of here because these are legal documents. And if we have to ever refer back to them, uh, for whatever reason, we'll know the day, Monday, the date, and the doctor. In this case, Dr. Vinnie Boom Butts, or if it was the nurse's schedule or the EKG schedule. Also, when you're doing the schedule, the line above it represents the time. So 8 o'clock is represented by this line. So 8 to 8.15 would be this first block. So 8.15 is represented by this line. 8.30 is represented by this line. 8.45 represented by this line. I don't think I have to go anymore. Also, if you do... When you are creating the schedule, one block equals 15 minutes, two blocks equal 30 minutes, three blocks equal 45 minutes, four blocks equal 60 minutes. So you'll know if you have an established patient, there should only be one block for that person. If it's a new patient, it should have two blocks. Um, remember, the time the office doesn't open before 8.30, so you cannot schedule anyone from the 8, 8.15 slot. Also remember that the doctor, the doctor schedule, he has a meeting from, um, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. at St. Clair Hospital. <clears throat> so, what I would like you to do, if you wouldn't mind, when you're doing this, is to draw the line from that you're going to be taking up the blocks. In this case, the meeting's 9 to 10, 9 to 10 o'clock. So we go down to 9, and then there's where 10 o'clock ends. However, we have to give buffer time. Remember, the doctor has to go to the meeting and he also has to return. So in this case, that meeting will be 8.30, you'll draw a line to 10.15. That way you cannot schedule anyone in those blocks because the doctor will not be in the office. So from 8.30 until 10.15, you will not be able to put anyone in the appointment uh, slots for that time period. So that's the buffer period. Also, whenever you're creating a schedule, always block out the pre-scheduled events. For example, this meeting that we just talked about. Also, we want to block out the lunch because we don't want to um, schedule anyone within our lunch period. So the lunch period is 11.30 to 1230 so we go 1130 to 1230 and you're going to do that on all three schedules um, and those in this case are the only pre oh no the other pre-scheduled event on the doctor's schedule is the pharmaceutical rep from 515 until 530 and that only goes on the doctor's schedule, 5.15 to 5.30. That's one block, 15 minutes. Then once you put in the pre-scheduled events, you can schedule any of these patients on the schedule wherever you want on the schedule, whatever time period. It's up to you. When we do the final, when you do the final, I will have exact times where you're going to have to put the patients in. But in this case, I give you the freedom to be able to document wherever you want on the physician schedule. Um, oh, 
Also, a uh, couple other rules to follow um, is try not to bunch all the appointments. You're going to see on the EKG schedule, I believe there's only two patients, and on the nurse's schedule, um, there's maybe three or four. Try to space them out. On the doctor's schedule, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. They all fit and you're not going to have very much room or leeway to put the patient's information. Again, when you are writing the, uh, for the patient's schedule, if it's only in one block, you'd put the patient's name and their condition. That's all you need to put. And if you would, draw a line from where the patient's appointment begins. In this case, 945, say, well, let's not use that. Let's use... 3.30 to 3.45, that would be a 15-minute or an established patient block. If it was a new patient or a physical, it would be, if you're going to pick, that means it would be two blocks, 30 minutes, 3.30 to 4 o'clock. You would schedule that. So, just to summarize, make sure for each uh, schedule, you're going to have three different schedules created. You're going to put Dr. Vinny Boombutz on this, whatever day you want to pick, Monday, to say December um, 17th, um, 2012. Then you'll have nurse's schedule, Monday, December 12th, 2012. And EKG schedule, Monday, December 17th, 2012. So you'll have three different schedules. Then send them to me. You can either, um, you know, put them on Blackboard like you have been doing by taking a, um, attaching the document, or you can email it to me, uh, which is fine. Also, it's easier actually for me to open up the documents. Okay, these documents will be available starting Monday, December 17th. Um, and so you have the schedule to look at and these um, appointment sheets to look at. Um, okay, remember to give buffer time before any meeting that's an outside meeting, not only for this exercise, but also the final that um, also, draw lines from where you're going to begin, where the appointment begins, and where the appointment ends, an arrow. And I believe that's it. If you have any questions, you can call me, text me, or email me. Thank you very much, and have a good day.